All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at surveying. And as you're studying for your civil FE exam review, definitely gonna to need to have mastered the surveying section because it does have quite a few topics. So the first topic that we're gonna cover, um, when I say sub topic, meaning that, or not that one, this one. Um, but it has uh, one, two, three, four, five different topics. So we'll look at angles, distances, and trigonometry in this video. Um, and in the following videos, we're going to look at area computations and so forth. So let's go ahead and do um, and start these practice problems. So number one says a man standing at a certain distance from a building observed the angle of elevation of its top to be as 60 degrees. He walks 30 yards away from the building and now um, the angle of elevation of the building top is 30 degrees. How high is the building? So they've drawn it out for us by what they mean. And so we wanna go ahead and write out the information that we're given. So we're given all the angles, all right? So we are given the angles slash visuals of where the man is standing. Standing. So he's standing, all right? He would be standing right here and right there. That's what it's describing. Okay. And so what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the height of building. Okay. So the formula is needed. There are no like super fancy formulas that you're going to need. Don't believe. But I do believe that you need to have like an idea um, of what, you know, sine, cosine, and all of those, the form, the, like what those mean. So you can remember SOHCAHTOA, right? Sine is always going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is always adjacent over hypotenuse, A over H. And then tangent is normally equal to opposite over adjacent, so couture. Okay, so let's continue. So those are, the, I guess you could call the formulas that we need. So let's write it out in terms of how can we start trying to work at this. So I believe that if we start out by saying, okay, if I take angle um, 30 degrees, right? And I say the tan tangent of 30 degrees equals, well, opposite, right, H over adjacent, which is 30 yards plus D, okay? Is there anything else that we can do with this? Uh, we can create another formula that states that if we look at the next point where he stands, the 60 degree angle, we could say that the tan 60 equal to H over D, All right? All right, so now we can, we have two formulas that both share what, um, what we're given 
in terms of H and D, right? So now we can isolate one of the variables and plug it into the other formula and hope we get a value for either H or D. So I'm gonna solve for H in this case. So D tan 60 is equal to H, All right? Just brought this down. Um, okay. So I have H. So what I'm gonna do is plug this, this formula in for H here, All right? And so I should be able to get D. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like the tan 30 is equal to D tan 60 all over 30 plus D. So hopefully you can see that I substituted that H in blue. All right, so now what do we do from there? Well, I'm gonna move everything to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply by 30 plus D and I'm gonna get 30 tan 30 plus D tan 30 is equal to D tan 60. All right, I don't know if you all can see that, so. There we go. Okay. And so when we keep solving for this, all right, I get D to equal 214.99 or 15 yards. We're not solving for D, we're solving for height. So now that we have D, we can plug it in. We can plug it right back in to our equation. And we can plug it in for D here. So then, I will say that uh, 15 tan of 60 is equal to H. Right? And so H is equal to 25.98 yards or 26 yards, which is what it rounds up to. All right. So it's got to play with sine, cosine, and create some formulas, substitute, substitute your variables. Hey everybody, I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley, and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough, and as you're going through material, you may be saying, Ugh, I don't remember learning this stuff, or gosh, these variables are so confusing, or you just feel like you're really, really busy, and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one-on-one -on -one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to 
you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment. If you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video.